Tim Chege is the CEO of Opticom Kenya Limited, a subsidiary of Optimum Group Partnerships UK company. A visionary founder, leader, and seasoned entrepreneur with over 25 years of experience in the security and safety industry. As a group founder and CEO of Optimum Group Partnerships, he spearheads a pioneering team dedicated to delivering cutting-edge safety and security solutions. He has a keen interest in technological innovation through artificial intelligence. My name is uh, Tim Chege. I'm the CEO of Opticom Kenya Limited, an Optimum Group Partnerships uh, UK company, OptiSafe and also OptiWatch Limited. So I'm a CEO of the, of the business. Uh, and also sitting as a chairman, I look after all the, all the businesses here and our organization, Optimum Group Company. Can you share your insights on the role of leadership in driving innovation and growth within the security and safety industry? The role of leadership is to always seeking new ways to be agile, new ways to look at the cultures of business, like uh, how do we become more agile? The environment and every landscape of business is changing quite a lot. Of course, within all these things that have gone on in the UK, Brexit or COVID or financial challenges, every ch challenge that we're getting, the role of leadership is to see how do we see the best ways we can now uh, work into business. And in our case, as in the business of security and uh, uh, particularly technology, how does the leadership get involved to see how else we can enable businesses to work better? And how can we ourselves use the innovation and technology as a way to make our businesses better? So leadership is just being in touch and being very much uh, into that area to look at the changes and make them. How do you approach developing and implementing strategic initiatives to ensure Opticom and OGP stay ahead in the market? Uh, yes, yeah, so as, as, as a business, we, we have uh, different, different areas we operate in. So from, let's say, United Kingdom and also UK and, and uh, India. And, and, and other areas in Europe. So in terms of development, it's about seeking and going around to hear what other players are working on, to see what are the needs in the market and be very clear that any compelling needs and the changes in the market, we are adapting, we are adapting to that. And so when we sit down with a team, uh, of great engineers, we sit with a team of uh, good developers who can see the the areas that we can adapt into it, and it's just to mix up mix up of how does production, how does technology, how does the engineering aspects of it and innovation meet what the customer wants. And we find out what the customer wants, it becomes an a, an area where we can now develop uh, specific needs for specific clients. Given experience. What strategies do you believe are essential for fostering a culture of excellence and innovation within Opticom and OGP? It's really, first of all, we, we like to take it from where we find collaboration, use of really great talent. So where we go out and look for really, really great talent. Uh, and even youth mixing up with the youth who can come up with such great ideas. And when we do that, we then look at how do we look at what is a peak performance? What is peak performance for us? It's just the ability to be able to really find what are these compelling needs that are out there in the market and how do we develop compelling solutions and compelling innovative and uh, using technology solution. It's a mixture of then getting the right brains. So whether they're, you know, we, we, we have uh, the guys out in India or whatever we work with in Kenya, in the UK and put Putting those brains together, how do we, 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 we look at it from what we call a global technology school, so where we look at that and find ways of how do we develop the innovation, how do we then start developing strategies to work with. So we have innovation, innovation months, so where we sit in a, in a team where, with the, we sit in a team where, you know, the people from the different areas, of different countries will sit together in one team and come up with these innovations that we sit and agree that the market is ready for it and we can go for it. So we, we, we use that as, as we, as, as part Part of our development. How do you see technology shaping the future of security and safety solutions, particularly in the context of Opticom's offerings and by extension, OGP? You know, we, 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 have, uh, we have this line that we came up with, which is that innovation and technology 
is the leveraging place that we use to uh, find ways we can help our customers uh, find better solution, reduce their costs, reduce their uh, issues of ever theft or security problems, and of course, increase their profits. So we work and reverse engineer some of these items. So how do we make businesses resilient? So for example, resilience now is a, it's a major thing, but well, technology and how we then address technology to come by some of these ways that we can do that is, 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 is working quite well for us. So for Opticom and OGP United Kingdom, for example, uh, using virtual guarding or CCTV remote monitoring or managing systems through integration and then having a remote monitoring center uh, based here in Kenya, for example, that has really, really helped our customers see that they can save up to 70%. What we've done is that using that as a basis, we've managed to go to now different sectors and different problems, but still see what platforms do we need? What technology does we do we need to find to find that it will work for a problem and a solution? So, for example, logistic warehouses which have different problems from a school, we will find how do we combine IoT devices to be able to open gates, to be able to see number plates of vehicles coming in, and how do we then make that solution to become like a gate man, a virtual gate man. And so the customers, uh, uh, we are able to now see that that solution will work for our customers. Uh, for example, we've got churches, so they've got problems, are different problems. That's an open space. So you can't just talk about a security camera. So we can, we look at uh, our SCARI solution, for example, we look at uh, VMSs, visitor management systems, and a combination of that a solution is able to now become also a service. So we can address that as a service and that helps our customers to see that the solutions can be uh, can be modeled around the problem of the customer. Could you highlight some recent technological advancements or innovations that Opticom or OGP have adopted to enhance their services? We are moving away from the fourth industrial technology so where uh, you can imagine uh, before you had a security camera uh, and then as an example security camera moved from you know, uh, analog to digital. Um, and now we are finding that cameras and uh, technology like that for surveillance has moved on to uh, AI and it's now moving to be really much more advanced in the way it works. So AI technology, and specifically when you look at systems, so that would be a security solution system camera that can be combined with access control and can provide uh, a way to uh, manage entries, manage exits, but also take, uh, take the video surveillance and filter, automate, and make sure that we are able to see different things and how, uh, uh, how no more cameras wouldn't be able to see. So AI, an advancement is AI. We have gone to, to a different length. We have uh, extended that in a way that we are able to now manage even from the United Kingdom. We are now able to uh, push the AI technology on all our, uh, all our customers that we provide uh, the real-time monitoring. So AI technology in particular is, 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 is quite gone into an advanced stage. We're also working with... Uh, uh, companies who have used our platform, who have used us, our command center control room, as a place where they can test uh, the new AI, the new AI advancement. So we are quite proud to be, you know, a, a, a player in the market that they can see that we can be able to help them test uh, test the new AI. But yeah, so AI uh, and how it works and how it uh, uh, has shaped and how it has helped our customers in terms of, uh, you know, not only that savings, their transparency in how they're operating and, and helping them really in their businesses has been quite uh, uh, an exciting moment for us. With your interest in technology, how do you ensure Opticom and OGP remain at the forefront of incorporating cutting-edge technology into security solutions? Yeah, a lot of it is, um, is, is we are always out looking for what are the problems out in the market. So we say in our business that we are not a reseller of products. We don't resell solutions. So what we do is using risk-based approaches. And with the risk-based approaches, is it helps us to go out there and see the 
challenges the customers are having and also to see the advancements of technology as they as they as they arise and uh, then we can speak to our manufacturers and find solutions that work so we are also or i particularly uh, I, I work a lot in terms of visiting different shows uh, whether they are in the uk or other countries in the uh, where they, they showcase new products so we are always constantly looking at the new products that are out in the market and then work towards how they can do that. We also speak a lot with our manufacturers and some of the manufacturers we have very good relationships with. It's just about how do we, okay, here is a problem and can you come up with a solution for us that we can uh, work with to uh, to be able to help us challenge a certain solution or certain, uh, sorry, to be able to help us challenge a certain problem. So the advancement is uh, always taking place. As I said earlier, we have what we call an innovation month. And innovation month is, is particularly important for us because we have a production department and in that production department is the team that really are constantly looking out for the new and the next uh, next solution next technology in terms of what can can help us as a business and also for our customers what lessons have you learned that you apply daily the most important lesson and i think luckily we we caught up early is just how do we uh, leverage leverage technology and how do we leverage in terms of the changes i would say we didn't move uh, fast enough uh, in some areas that we we could have worked in in terms of uh, in terms of the changes in how uh, and how the, the the market is moving the market is changing in in terms of uh, technology so a lot of it is yes how do we get the 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 the, the right technology on board quick enough uh, but since then we have adopted you know great technology of course we have been now at the forefront of uh, systems and solutions that we provide and services that we provide um, the other one I think is the boldness to really get that expertise those expertise those really strong expert uh, expert guys that we've uh, we've brought on board you know some uh, technology guys we've uh, and, and engineers we've brought from from India we are working with and I mean their capacity and the way they're moving uh, moving things fast has been quite good and, and a bolder sales team really so some guys who can really go out and uh, and be able to make the market know who we are so I'd say some of those are, are things that uh, didn't happen but now we we, we are really uh, really thankful that we are quite quite ahead of our quite ahead of what uh, what was the plans for for this year even on the next couple of years I think we're really quite well uh, in tune with that how do Opticom and OGP leverage the extensive industry experience and international reach to tailor solutions for diverse client needs uh, yes yeah, so the mixture of having the right team we have a team of experts we look at uh, the 25 years of, of, of uh, experience so we call a solid state so by extension that means we've dealt with you know the uk market we've dealt with an indian market we've dealt with a with that with an european market we've dealt with some markets within africa and all these different needs and all these different areas of uh, uh, of solutions that they need or we want to provide and dealing with manufacturers has been able to make us to leverage really how do we uh, how do we become impactful let's say like in Kenya how do we put all of that together and be able to come in and, and work with, with with the Kenyan market it has really helped in terms of we are now a local company let's say in Kenya but working globally uh, the experience is there and, and areas that they need sustainability goals and environmental goals that they they do look for is things that we bring back and say all right here's what we can provide so by the experience and expertise we have picked up over the over the years can you share a particular challenging project or client situation that opticom and ogp successfully navigated and what were the key factors contributing to their successes? I only remember during COVID. I think during COVID, the challenge changed. And uh, so, for example, we supply security guards and technology as well. So we came into a place where the client wanted us to provide um, a business continuity. So if one officer has COVID, then how do you 
have a second officer ready and a third officer ready. And then they could not travel in a public means. In any case, there wasn't much of the public means. And so the challenges were there. How do you transport officers from one side to another? And how do you get them to be moved around? You know, the whole thing of COVID, I think, was, was, a, was a challenge. Uh, luckily, with COVID, from a security point of view, again, what, what was there, we had special passes, uh, of course. Uh, security then became very, very much needed. We were then, because they couldn't have security guards, so we had to deploy a lot of surveillance cameras, which would be managed virtually. So in a way, it was a problem, but uh, it became, it also became uh, uh, quite a great opportunity for us in the end. So that was, that was, that was uh, a problem, but an opportunity, yes. How do you ensure that Opticom and Bextension OGP maintain a customer-centric approach while delivering cutting-edge safety and security solutions? Customer-centric is, is actually part of, part of our cultures, uh, one of our biggest, strongest points in our culture. So in terms of account management and, uh, and how we see our customers, one of the biggest things that we're strong at is, is it's not only that they know our advancement in, uh, okay, of course, it's taking care of the customers, make sure that all their needs are met. So we do have great KPIs and we have great ways that we have uh, our team that goes and make sure the customer is, is happy with what we're doing. But we found out that a lot of the customers, uh, uh, we, ha we had a show where one of the customers came and saw us uh, uh, in a show and they saw what we had brought in as new technology that we had provided for him and he was happy with that. And why he said he was happy was particularly that we are keeping him uh, informed on what is new in the market and the changes we are making for his own uh, business. It's a school that we provide services. So, so we are providing different cutting edge technology. So we find actually customer service and being able to, it's, it's about as things get advanced, what else can we show them that we are bringing into the market? Uh, so for example, the Ascari, Ascari solution, one of our customers that we, when we provided Ascari, which is a workforce management tool, we were able to show that we don't need eight cleaners, we need six cleaners, right? We are also able to show him, we are also able to show that he can also follow the workforce as they're doing their work without him needing to not be aware of what's going on in his business. So we find a customer service must be also, uh, in our view, attract, must come alongside what is new that you can provide a, can provide a customer and what is new that you can change. So we find that a mixture of, of course, great way that we're providing the services as the customer wants, but what else can you provide for the, the customer and bring in changes that you can bring into their business that could save them money, that could help them work better. So that's what we do. What measures do OGP and Opticom take to ensure that their solutions remain cost effective without compromising on quality or customer satisfaction? We are really focused on service, the service that we can do. So we have um, uh, what we call the PSS model. So we do select the product, right? We make sure the product is cutting edge. It can speak to an iPhone. It can really connect to our platforms. We can do then a solution, an integration of the solution. We can then provide a service out of it. So you can provide a product and a solution all you want, but how does the service connect to the product and the solution? And if these two speak together, then the, you, we, you can see that you can now make sure your, uh, that is cost effective. So that's, that's important. In the overall end, it's cost effective. In the overall end, it is, uh, of course, providing them the service that they're looking for, or it's dealing with the problem faster. Could you share some examples of how your organization and its subsidiaries have gone above and beyond to meet and exceed customer expectations. Yeah, we we always work um, in, in 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 a way to exceed expectations, and uh, in that way, to what two two areas of uh, can, uh, come to mind where we exceeded expectations is um, so we have a, a church that we we have. Uh, we're looking after in terms of services, and that's virtual, virtual guarding services. Uh, it's an open space, about 3,000 to 4,000 uh, uh, church, uh, church members going in. Uh, so it's, 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 uh, it's something where risk-based, 
and how to manage behavior, how to see how we can work with technology, and then how we can now do monitoring and capture things in a way that we can extend the service as if it is meant people on the ground has been something that the customer has been really, really happy about. And one of the things we've been able to just capture is things that were, were not even supposed to be for us to look after, you know, internal thefts, internal people moving up and down, you know, things that uh, are happening that shouldn't be happening in terms of safety, that they're not supposed to be happening. And we will capture this and work with that. So the customer has seen that it's what we call, we've gone beyond surveillance. So we've gone beyond cameras to see uh, if, you know, is mainly whether there's people committing theft or burglary or anything like that, but we're going even over and beyond. Introducing of visitor management systems and Ascari and combining a visitor management system that really, really works uh, so brilliantly and, at, and integrating it to the Ascari where the guards are patrolling or looking at how they patrol is an area where we, we've gone above and, above and beyond. Others are uh, warehouses and industrial areas. So where we've uh, not only just set up uh, virtual management, so cameras that are, you know, observing and managing entry areas Areas, exit areas, and also inside the warehouses. So we can be able to do asset management, the assets that are coming in. Again, we use using of Ascari. So Ascari can also, our Ascari solution is, is by the way brilliant and it does help to go well above and beyond. So how the client now uses Ascari, in fact, the CEO would use the Ascari as the point of directly contacting the security officer and say to the officer, can I go and see, can you go and check for me the pallet that came in? Can you go and give me the numbers of assets that have come in today? So they don't now need to rely uh, wholesomely on the whole chain of managers, etc. So this is something that as we do surveillance of virtual services, we then add new technology and going uh, above and beyond. They, they, they've we've talked about 70% reduction of theft. Uh, we're moving out to an area of about 85% reduction of theft. And of course, the reduction of new, all the managers who are worried are now focusing on looking after the the everything coming into the warehouse, they don't need to worry about that anymore. They just need to now worry about what their jobs uh, jobs entail. So that's going above and beyond. And uh, certainly uh, our technology and uh, our team do go above and beyond in terms of you know listening to the client, coming back next time and giving them another solution that can help them in the way they go without adding uh, an extra, you know, a huge amount of cost on top, so which is also quite good. What is your vision for the future growth and development of Opticom and OGP? Yeah, uh, with, with Opticom uh, growth, is, uh, we are definitely expanding in terms of uh, our, our reach. What we, what we have as a, as a center where we, we manage uh, uh, our alarm receiving centers, we, we do see that the growth of it is to manage up to 100,000 alarms and increasing it to about 200,000 alarms. So that means that from uh, an optical point of view, as I said, we are local but global. We are looking at more customers that are outside in the United Kingdom and uh, other customers in different areas within Africa. Regionally, yes, we are also looking to grow. Uh, we've got presence in Uganda, Zambia. Now we are deploying in Zambia and then we will be doing monitoring from Zambia. So it's now getting into, yes, first the region and getting into the, into the region where we've got customers that are, uh, are looking to, we can onboard in mines in Tanzania and different areas just like that, that we can onboard and increase. So our platform is increasing and our reach in terms of uh, the number of alarms, which means that's, that's, what, that's what we work with as an alarm receiving center, is looking to grow. In the, in the UK Optimum Group, it's, it's, a, it's a very exciting moment for us in terms of the testing that we have done on the various areas of uh, sectors we've come up with in the property management sector where we're doing virtual concierge and uh, you know, saving customers up to £40,000 a year, reducing uh, uh, theft and issues like that by about 70%. Uh, offices that we're doing, virtual receptionists and offices. So we're expanding where can we work virtually and then cost and the high cost of living and all these areas that are coming in nowadays as, as, as issues, as compelling needs and how can we best uh, work with them. 
And so the UK market is, 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 is the, our UK businesses are also expanding. Our uh, reach is expanding. We've got a great, uh, great team that's coming on board, actually has come on board. And with this great team, our sales direction has changed. Our production management team has changed. We've brought in quite good, exciting guys. So that's in a view to get this exponential growth uh, carrying on. Importantly, our platform is expandable. We can expand into different areas. Our solutions are, uh, are centrally manageable. We can expand into different areas. So that's a, a good area where we're looking at. Yeah. So regional growth, uh, technology areas where we've got different market uh, leaders who are coming to partner with us in terms of technology. So there's a lot, lot of good, exciting areas where, uh, where we're growing. Uh, in fact, lastly, that there is appetite. There's more and more appetite for the work that we do via technology and also advanced, advanced AI. How do your teams stay agile and adaptable in response to emerging safety and security challenges and changing client needs? The human capital increase is, is what uh, is bringing in uh, the main adaptability for us. So, you know, business growth and adaptability is how do you inject more capital? How do you inject more funding? Yes, well, that's there and very important. We've, uh, we are in injecting new, uh, the human capital is quite uh, exciting the way we're going, we're going, we're going with it, you know. Um, in a in a UK organizational change has changed uh, has changed quite uh, dramatically in terms of who we're bringing on board. We've got new sales direction, a uh, good great sales director as named Sean Dixon. So we've we've seen the culture change in our business is coming in to bring in a new culture change. We are seeing the gr new growth in how we're adapting adaptability to AI technology, for example, and how does then technology come into different areas of, of growth. So we are expanding our footprint, expanding our, uh, our portfolio. So we are only able to do that mainly by bringing in a new, a new strong team. So we've got a new exciting new strong team that is coming, has come into our business in the, in the, in the United Kingdom to be able to help us to adapt and to grow. So areas we did see the bringing in new, uh, new new expertise and experience within within that to the organization in kenya as well you know we've got a, a board a board of advisors have constituted who are absolutely fantastic you know our chairman uh, uh, dr mwangi ngumo is a former ceo of kenya institute of management and also former chairman of uh, kenya invest so it's bringing in a a world of experience, uh, areas of uh, changes that we are bringing in into the business. And that is helping us adapt in terms of uh, reorganizing the human capital to be able to uh, address certain areas we haven't quite looked at well, to bring in new uh, new capital to be able to help us uh, increase our footprint into, into different areas. Uh, of course, technology and innovation and how we have uh, all... Uh, all, I mean, great partners that we work with, which we are keeping adapt, we are keep, we are adapting to what is the emerging trends and how we work, uh, we work alongside it to be able to make our self name, our name known and our ability to, uh, get the best solutions out to the market is, is being able to, uh, uh, to get into the market a lot better. What opportunities do you see for Opticom and OGP to expand its services or penetrate new markets in the coming years? Yes, so with Opticom, the, the opportunities, uh, the opportunities are there. And I think a lot of the fueling of the opportunities, uh, I think that I said earlier, is that Kenya before wasn't quite adapting to new technology. So we had legacy, legacy systems and uh, old systems. But, you know, COVID was a good, good thing in terms of making people see that working virtually is possible. We now have a, a good bandwidth, internet, electricity, power has helped a lot. So you've got more uh, uh, internet going to people's homes. We have more power going into, uh, you know, uh, going in uh, nationally. So we are able to expand our services, so virtual services particularly, we're able to expand them uh, 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 broadly into the national, in the national area. In terms of also the when you we talk about virtually working and having to have security services that can be managed uh, as a service, 
there is more acceptance to that. There is more acceptance to that because the cost of living has gone up, hasn't it? There's the cost of uh, security services has gone up. There's all these uh, areas of making this to become uh, a solution and a service that is more acceptable. So there is opportunities, uh, there is opportunities and expanding of opportunities. And, uh, and the most important thing is that when we even ask our customers to come and see what we do, and then they, 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 they just get it straight away. And they see that's the best way, the best way to, to go. United Kingdom is, is the same. There is, uh, good adaptability and understanding of AI. And so things like AI, you know, sustainability, you know, solar, solar powered solutions, solutions that are able to, you know, uh, meet their, their carbon footprinting, carbon solutions, all these areas we've adapted to. And so there is more need for these solutions, which we, which we provide. Um, in terms of costs uh, of services and in terms of are these services actually responding to our problems, we've been able to prove that and be able to show that. So that is looking like although, um, as I said earlier, this uh, COVID made people start working virtually, it is very clear that the, uh, the way people have adapted and taken on technology and virtual working is very difficult for them to go back to what was uh, the normal ways of working. So, yeah, it, it, is, it is quite exciting that uh, we saw this quite ahead of our time. We've, of course, built our own command center. We're looking to build a new command center somewhere else. And that has helped us to know that, yes, the market is ready for, for this expansion. So yes, uh, very exciting times. Innovation and technology must be the point where we leverage our ways where we can look at emerging issues and look at areas of whether we are losing uh, through theft, we're losing through uh, issues that are there in business, in our families, at home, and also in communities. And innovation and technology is now a more accepted way to work and as optical and also as optimum group partnerships. With our 25 years experience, our core thing is to have this risk-based approach whereby we understand criminology, we understand safety, we understand this at such root cause level, at, at root, cause, root cause points, and then we add the level of technology. Technology is able to help uh, businesses, uh, help, to be, help to help families and also communities to be able to be resilient, to be able to stay safe, and to do it at a very cost-effective way but transparency is there, the effectiveness is there, and you and reduction of all these issues are are, are quite clear that uh, that that they're done. For us as a business, uh, we operate globally. As uh, from United Kingdom, we have our businesses in Bulgaria and also in India. It means that we are combining all of this expertise and experience, including our 10, 25 years experience, to be able to leverage technology, the innovation bit, and to also look at sustainability as also a key area to which uh, businesses will find benefits uh, working with us. And so we are adaptable. We work with looking at critically the problems and then coming up and finding the solutions and the services that we can add to it. Uh, so it is, we are, you're very welcome to come and visit us. You're very welcome to contact me. I'm very happy to come and see your organizations or speak to you and just give free consultations and free areas that we can look at how best we can resolve uh, issues that you may be having. And uh, yeah, so we are Opticom Kenya Limited, an Optimum Group company. Thank you.